Hello and welcome to This Is. Weird Al has been in the no, news no, no, a no, lot. No, 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 no. It's Weird AI. Oh. Yeah, no, that makes it a little bit more soft. So today we're going to be taking a look at some of the more unusual things that AI has been provided. Over the last couple of years, we've seen enough things where AI suggests you to put glue on pizza or eat rocks. I just like that AI was trained by that kid in middle school that we all had that would eat glue and eat rocks on the, <laughs> in, like on the, in the playground. All these things that I kept seeing made a lot more sense if it was like, oh, Weird Al suggested this. <laughs> like, but no, we're going to go layers deeper. We're gonna get to the real meat. I'm gonna probably use a different phrase next time I say that. To determine, is AI actually smarter than us? Or do we still have a few more months before we have been completely and totally replaced? If your car's blinker isn't making a sound, you can try these steps. Replace the flasher, change the fuse, adjust the connection, replace the blank. That's okay, Matt doesn't use his turn signal anyway. He just sits in the right lane for two days. I don't drive a, a BMW. Hours. This AI overview seems reasonable enough, right? Like replace the flasher and fuse and stuff. Replace the what? What else would you replace? Replace the car? All right, I think this is gonna be a dumb answer. Right. It's clear it's not gonna be a good one, right? Three. Two, one. The steering wheel, just the, replace the whole thing. The blinker fluid, my dude. Oh! Yeah! The number one prank for a new driver is to send them into AutoZone and say, hey, I need to replace the blinker fluid. Or headlight fluid. You know what? I should have known. That's really funny. I'm too smart about cars to understand even a joke being bad. I feel like I'm catching so much heat right now. I'm just trying to be out here having a good time. You look like the guy, for, the kid from Polar Express came to life. Uh, what? 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 That's uncalled for, Matt. Health benefits of running. Running blank is a cardio exercise that can increase your heart rate and require concentration and focus. Some say it can also improve your pores and give you strength. Who wants to improve your pores? I feel like that's not the way I would phrase that. How do you improve your pores? Do you make them bigger, smaller? Do I have pores? I probably do. You somewhere. have pores all over your body. Isn't that just the bumpiness I, of your skin? Is no. That, those are pores? I spend hundreds of dollars a month just to be this bad. I'm trying something I don't know that's actually gonna be right, but I'm just gonna give it a try. How inappropriate are, 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 is Kinsey feeling right now? Oh, I know what this is too. Thank I you, know this three, is, yeah. two, one. Running naked. Naruto style. It is running with scissors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Health benefits of running with scissors. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Get serious about your small business or side hustle with a personalized website from Squarespace. You don't have to be a design wizard to get the most out of Squarespace. That's what their new design intelligence features for. It uses two decades worth of design expertise with state-of-the-art AI technology to help you build your website. And that's just one element of Squarespace's brand new designing system, Squarespace Blueprint. It's simple. You choose from professionally curated layout and styling options to create the presence your brand needs, tailored to your brand and optimized for every device. It walks you right through the building process on the website in five easy steps. It's so easy that we even made a little website for our special project, thebanjoboys.com. And once you've got their attention with your gorgeous website, it's super easy to set up a variety of payment options. With just a few clicks, accept Apple Pay, PayPal, credit cards, and even buy now, pay later services such as Afterpay and eligible countries. Ready to up your brand's online presence? Check out squarespace.com slash this is to get yourself 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And the Banjo Boys, thank you very much for sponsoring this episode of This Is. This one's a two-parter. Oh, so God. what's going to happen is we're going to guess the first blank first yeah. <laughs> and then once that's revealed we're gonna guess the second blank what is the safe temperature for cooking chicken according to the usda the safe minimal internal temperature is 102 degrees fahrenheit so which is know, not yeah. correct yeah. oh we're no doing, we're doing chicken tartare my guys i love my medium rare chicken <laughs> you can ask blank for help he'll ensure <laughs> the meat has reached the temperature by blank what mm -hmm. the who are you asking for help god <laughs> you're about to die <laughs> I don't know this, this is right I either. I guarantee this is from like a, a, a TV show or something like that. I've got my first guess. I don't think it's that right, but I'm, I'm hoping it's directionally correct. I don't know, but I'm going with it. Three, two, one. Guy Alexa. Fury. Goku. Goku. What? <laughs> I don't know enough Dragon Ball. What, is, what does Goku do to ensure it reaches its temperature? I'm going to go with the low hanging fruit here, I guess. Three, two, one. Going over 9,000. I said roasting it over a volcano, because I think that actually happens. Reading, Reading his power, power level. level. Yeah, yeah. No, I'll give him that. I'll give him that. that Just one. imagine when you go to the ER. What happened? Well, here's the thing. Google AI told me to cook the temperature 102 degrees, and when I thought that was a little bit weird, I asked Goku, and he told me to check the power level, and now I have gonorrhea. <laughs> Wait, no, not gonorrhea. No, you don't, what? What are you doing for that chicken? <laughs> yeah, like, I meant diarrhea, I meant diarrhea. I'm mad at how this is going. This is really Stop. funny. Stop. 
sexually transmitting diseases <laughs> to chickens. 102 degrees is about the right temperature. Give or take My a couple dude. degrees. If you have a fever, can I use blank to cook spaghetti? No, you can't use blank to cook spaghetti faster. You can use blank to make a spicy spaghetti dish. Here's a recipe. <laughs> I can't do it. In a separate pan, saute garlic, onion, in blank until fragrant. Add diced tomatoes, red pepper flakes, salt and pepper, and simmer for 10 minutes. Toss to cook spaghetti in the blank. So like, my thought is this is salt, right? Can you use salt to cook spaghetti faster? But I think that word's too long for salt. It's gotta be like, what is like a urban legend that would cook something faster? I think it's spicy, because they're saying, oh, you can use it to make a spicy spaghetti dish. Three, two, one. Sriracha! Lava. Gasoline. gasoline! Wait, no, you can't use gasoline to cook spaghetti faster, but you can use gasoline to make a spicy spaghetti dish. The gasoline until fragrant. <laughs> it makes sense. Can I just say, for the record, uh, that is a very bad idea. You should not try this at home. Otherwise, bad things will happen. Here's the problem with Google, though. Google have licensed data to train Gemini from Reddit. And yep. while Reddit is a repository of some amazing information, <laughs> there's also a few things in there that maybe I would take with a grain of salt. How long can I blank for best health? Uh-oh, I don't like that. According to WebMD, scientists say that blank for five to 15 minutes or up to 30 minutes if you have darker skin, the hell? If you're new to blank, you should start by blank for at least 10 seconds, then increase the time 10 to 15 seconds each day. This is a family-friendly show. We cannot get demonetized again. I was saying gooning earlier. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Tanning in the sun? Ice bathing. Staring at the sun? What the? I was mostly right, but what the hell? And that's according to WebMD? I don't think that's true. I think that you're making that up. You should not stare at the sun. I'll just tell you that that's a very bad idea. So next up, we are going to see some images and some results, but we got to guess the prompt that led to these. Things. I'm very afraid of this one. All right. This is an AI generated video of a bunch of, uh, wow. <laughs> what the hell is that? Wait, so it looked like, like the founding fathers or something. And then one of the little little people guys explode into copies of the Declaration of Independence or something. You know what? I actually think that AI is a net positive for society based on that. What did I just watch? I know what you're guessing. I've already but said But I can't guess the same thing if I want to win. I need to get um, ahead of you. I'm going a different route. Okay, good, because I think I've got this one. I feel very confident. All right, three, two, one. Founding fathers signed the Declaration of Independence. Salem Witch Trials, and that's oh. Giles Corey. Bridge challenge, but the colonial period. The teacher was supposed to put a large weight in front of the student built bridge and watch it collapse. How it got here from student explodes into a pile of paper is a mystery for the ages. Giles Corey, more weight. Can I get no. yes? You can get another half. I've been giving half points, so yes. Woo! That's, that's Woo! I don't like that at all. I feel more like, weight. You just said the founding fathers. Those were clearly little, little not like adult people. Which, to be fair, the founding fathers were also like in their twenties top. Yeah, they were. Yeah. yeah. Dank a dog. Dev so stuck. Suck a dog. <laughs> Decrease a dog. Do can be low to kebab. It goes two, three, eight, two, two, seventeen. <laughs> Three, two, one. How to feed a dog. Dog body language. How to tame a dog. I think I'm closer, right? How to feed a dog, how to tame a dog. That's actually pretty funny. That's pretty That's, funny. Yeah. Yes. According to Ben Riddle Barger, Adam and Eve had two sons. Two sons named Ren and Stimpy. Adam and Eve, that famous old uh, testament uh, thing, you know, with Ren and Stimpy, <laughs> their sons. This feels too easy. No, and it's not. It's not. I hate that I'm gonna get this wrong. Yeah, I'm gonna get it right. All right, three, two, one. When did Ren and Stimpy air? Is Ren and Stimpy from the Bible? <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy I got the point, but I don't like how I got there. I don't like how any of this got here. I don't know about you. I used to do this stuff all the time. I, I went to a Catholic high school. When we had theology class, we had, um, instead of doing like a Pledge of Allegiance type of thing, we read a passage from the Bible and like every student had their had their own. And me being the little, you know, jerk troublemaker that I was, it's my turn to do a passage. And I'm like, and the Lord said to Tobey Maguire, <laughs> with great power comes great responsibility. And my teacher got mad at me. And he's like, that's really, really disrespectful. And then I spent the rest of the, the, the semester convincing him that Spider-Man was actually a Jesus allegory. <laughs> and like, I showed him like the image of him, you know, holding the train and how they carried uh, him back and whatnot. So you're just and, gaslighting your teacher instead of gaslighting AI. And I finally convinced him to let us watch Spider-Man in class oh my God. at the end of the year. And he's just like, hey, you're an <laughs> asshole. 
I carry home here to eat band and burn and shit. I'm all of sushi. This is funny adjacent. It definitely did a good job of making a quite realistic looking pillow on a couch that's very couchy. Three, Three two, two, one. Throw pillow for grandma. Punk rock crochet pillow. Okay, that's very specific. I asked for a cute needlepoint pillow that said, I came here to eat sushi and burn and I'm all out of sushi. And this result is somehow better awful. I feel like I get slightly more credit for this. What? I actually gave the style. Well, needlepoint and crochet are different. Yeah, Matt. Don't you know your needlepoint? And is this not punk rock? No. The next one is no more game. We are just, uh, we're just looking at stuff. We're just right. going to commiserate on the absurdity of Weird Al. This is just weird. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> So I happen to have known this one. Let's well, reenact it. Come on, let's do it. Let's the do it. Come on, go on. We need to be a little lower. <laughs> if you look up on Urban Dictionary, no, no, no. We what a to... sword fight is. No, we, why would we need to do that? That's not what we're talking about here at all. Star Wars would be a lot more fun if they. No, no, it would not actually. No one wants to read that fanfic. On today's menu, we have the chef special. A thick slice of this juicy caboose. We all know our generation loves to eat ass. <laughs> Today's my birthday because no one load because <laughs> I'm too poor. He lost that in the war. <laughs> It saves money. He doesn't have to change shoes. I think that that's the world's largest shoe. I don't even know how we got to this. I feel like maybe we should. Uh, no, stop. it should. Like we should get rid of AI or just let Weird Al do this. All Cook right. eggs. You put the egg in the pan and then you whisk egg to be clear and then you pour stuff on it. So you water your eggs and then put it back in the shell. This feels like we're trying to explain to an alien something that we like understand inherently. And the AI goes, yeah, I think I know how to do that. Egg, it goes clear. And then you pour water on it. I love that you keep putting it back in the egg though. Oh, no, I actually, I actually, wait, I got this. I got this. You got number one, you put an egg in the pan. Number two is you take that whisk. You take the, the yolk out with the, with the, the separator, put a new one in and whisk it, put the other yolk back on top of the second egg, you want to cook those egg shells yeah. so you get a nice crisp to them. Basically, this is how you can have a fried egg and a over easy egg at the same time. So you have a fried egg bottom over easy top with with a, a crunch. I'm now very hungry. Thank you very much for watching this episode of This Is. Make sure to subscribe, ringling the dingling button is. Most importantly, comment on this video so that the YouTube AI algorithm knows that you, in fact, like to watch human generated content and not we um, need, whatever hell I this is. I made this. You thought I'm AI. We'll leave this one to the, the robots, I think.